Hi, this is Kiara from Pencil, and welcome to today's tutorial demonstrating how you can use your whiteboard tools found in Pencil Spaces. In today's video, we'll be going over how you can use your pen tool, highlighter tool, eraser tool, text tool, stickies, and shapes tools, all found at the bottom of your space in your whiteboard toolbar. So starting with the pen tool, to use the pen tool, you are going to click on the pen icon using your cursor. If you would like to change the size of the pen stroke or the color of the pen that you are using, just click it again and your pen toolbar will appear. So I can go ahead and change the thickness and the color of my pen. And to use my pen, I'm just going to click and drag along the whiteboard. So once again, I'm just clicking and dragging my pen in order to make the lines on my whiteboard. If I would like to alter the lines that I've already put on my whiteboard, I can just go back to the select tool. I can click on the line and I can go through and once again change the color or thickness of the line even after I've placed it on the whiteboard. You can also go ahead and change the layering. You can duplicate the lines. You can delete the lines. You can lock it. Or you can even leave a comment. To use the highlighter tool, the same process applies. I'm going to click on the highlighter once, and I'm going to click it again in order to change the color and thickness of my highlighter line. And to put my highlighter on the whiteboard, I'm just going to click and drag. Just like with the pen tool, if I select my highlighted line, I'm shown my toolbar and I can go ahead and change up the color, thickness, layering, and other elements of the line. To use my eraser tool, I'm going to click on the eraser icon and I can either click directly on my whiteboard elements or I can click and drag to erase multiple elements at once. To use the text tool, I'm just going to click the text icon found at the bottom of my space, and then I'm going to select the area of the whiteboard I would like to put my text down. From there, you just use your keyboard to type out any sentence you would like to put on the whiteboard. Then using your text toolbar, you can go through and bold your text, you can italicize it, you can underline it, you can change the color of your text, you can highlight your text. You can change the font, you can change the size of your text, and then you can go through and you can duplicate it, change the layering, and use all the text tools provided. To use a sticky tool, a similar process applies. I'm going to click on my sticky at the bottom. I'm going to click on the area of the whiteboard I would like to use my sticky, and I'm going to type out the message I would like to place on the whiteboard. Just like with the text tool, I can click and drag it around the whiteboard. And now my sticky note is on the whiteboard. To use the pencil spaces shapes tool, I'm just going to click shapes at the bottom of my toolbar. And as you can see, I have a variety of shapes that I can put on my whiteboard. So I'm going to click on the shape I would like to put on the whiteboard. And I'm going to click and drag in order to adjust the size and the placement of my shape on the whiteboard. I can now go through using my shapes toolbar and fill in my shape. I can change the line outline. I can change the thickness of my lines. And again, I can use other tools found on my toolbar. Using the shape tool, if you would like to create a perfectly horizontal line, perfectly vertical line, or a perfectly even shape, you can hold down the shift key on your keyboard while you put the shape down on your whiteboard and it will help create a perfectly horizontal line, perfectly vertical line, and perfectly even shape for you. So I'm going to demonstrate this with the line tool first. So clicking on my shape tool, selecting line, I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to click and drag on my whiteboard. And even if I raise and lower my cursor a little bit, my line will not change from being perfectly horizontal or perfectly vertical. If I were to do this while not holding down the shift key, when I move my cursor up and down, the line will shift with it. Similar to with the shape tool, if I were to click on the square, I'm going to hold the shift key and I'm going to click and drag on my whiteboard to get a perfectly even square. As you can see, I'm moving my cursor, and even if 
I move it slightly up or down from a perfect square, it will remain a perfect square. So demonstrating this without holding down the shift key, I'm once again selecting the square tool, and when I click and drag, my square is not perfectly even on both sides. If you would like to select multiple objects at once, just click and drag on your whiteboard. And once you release, you can take hold of multiple objects on your whiteboard simultaneously. Thank you for watching today's tutorial. We hope you found it helpful. If you have any further questions, please feel free to click the help button found at the top right hand side of your screen. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all things new at Pencil Spaces.